So this is the first of my series of the Easy Peasy Sewing Series. So I'm going to be presenting my first outfit. If this is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned. <music> Welcome, welcome. My name is Holly. This is Hollywood Wear. If you are returning, thank you for coming on back. For those of you who are new, who have just stumbled upon me for the very first time, thank you for coming by and seeing what I'm about. Here you will see a wide range of all kinds of things. It could be things that I make, it could be pattern hauls, it could be fabric hauls, things that I make with things that I buy. It could be fast fashion, it could be luxury, it could be contemporary, but whatever it is, it's always gonna be fashion related and always on a budget. So if that is something that you are interested in, please subscribe below. Put on that notification bell because I do weekly videos and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. That way I know you love it and I'll continue to make more content. But we are going to now get into what you came here for. So I decided that I'm going to do a series because lately I have been trying to get faster um, patterns, things that are not so um, time consuming. I get frustrated. I don't have a lot of time. I work a full time job. So, um, but I love sewing as um, it, it's my hobby. It's something that I love to do. But I also like to be able to get into an outfit and be able to wear it very quickly. Um, so I have tried to actually seek out easier patterns. Um, and things that are good uh, as well to share with for beginning sewers, advanced beginners, because I know when you're starting to sew, um, you, you want to sew a nice outfit, but you don't really have the um, experience to be able to, to uh, sew something so complex. So that is why I have decided to make this three part series of the easy peasy sewing projects. Um, things that you can just whip together um, and I'm gonna try and do them for every season. So we're at the end of summer. Um, I know I'm kind of late um, to the show, but I did want to at least throw some things out there that way, even if you do sew it, you can uh, wear it for the rest of the summer or save it for the next spring. But um, every um, time that I do a video, I always do my outfit of the day. But for today, it's going to be a little bit different. For this series, it's going to be a little bit different because my outfit of the day is always going to be the the uh, outfit that I am making, um, that I've made, or the pattern that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm going to just kind of quickly go over what I have on in my outfit of the day, and then we can kind of transition into how this um, this pattern was for me. Okay. So the pattern that I am reviewing today, and that is also my outfit of the day, is Butterick B6680. And it is a distress here. So I actually have it on in this lovely um, kind of a leopard, cheetah, leopard. I don't know the difference. Maybe on the screen. I've never been able to tell the difference. Anyway, I like animal prints whatever it is snake skin leopard cheetah i don't care zebra all of the above anyhow but it's like this black and white um and like a grayish kind of a tone it is in a nice jersey knit i got this fabric it was on clearance of um i believe i had bought a whole bunch of clearance fabric from joann's had like an extra 20 or 30 40 percent off or something crazy amount that was off on top of whatever the the i think it was 50 percent off and then an extra 40 percent so i took that opportunity to get a lot of different fabrics um i have on my um gold chain necklace and my um charm gems rhinestones what are these crystals anyway my drop earrings and i got this these both from macy's um, in the, uh, as you can see here, I have on uh, my pink Tory Burch belt. Um, I've paired it with my um, pink, and that's not actually what they're called. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they are called. It, it's a, it'll be here on the on the screen. Um, they're like a rose rose color. Um, but yes, I we're gonna call it pink for now. Um, my pink Hermes. Uh, around sandals. Um, I also have my pink mini pepper um, coach purse that I got from the outlet. 
I will of course link everything below. So I was just trying to give a, you know, a little bit of a color in with the black and the white. Um, I just, it just, it gave me very nice, like casual brunch vibes I'm giving off here today. Um, so let's kind of get into, oh, and then I also have on, sorry, I also have on again, my JBW rose color watch with my uh, Kate Spade bangle bracelet, the bow one, and then the Spade, they're both class um, lock um, bangle bracelets. So I think that is the end of what I have on. So let's kind of get back into this pattern. So this pattern, super easy. I made a, um, it's kind of the shorter one. You can, they, they have like a longer one, but I, I did a little bit shorter one. It hit right at the knees. Very, um, I, I like, love that a lot. It, you know, it's not too short, not too long. It was perfect. There was rouging on the side. I do like that. If uh, this did not require any kind of zippers or buttons, just the rouging. If you are an, a beginner or advanced beginner, rouging is very simple. You're just taking a piece of um, elastic and then just holding it along the seam, pulling it taut, and then sewing so that you're getting that rouge effect. When you let it go, it kind of um, scrunches up. Very, very simple. So if you can master that, you're, you're good to go. This had seven pieces um, all together and mind you when I say it had seven pieces that includes the little collar here so the neck um, the neck band one two arm bands one two the front and the back so that's one two three four five and then the skirt had one two sides seven pieces every and, and so you and you don't even cut seven pieces you literally cut one two three, four, you cut four pieces and one, two, three, three of them had two. So it's so fast. I, you can do this whole dress from start to finish in an hour, in an hour. If you just sat there straight, not, not the cutting part. I mean, the cutting part was not even that hard. Maybe an extra, maybe an extra half an hour. I'm gonna give you an hour and a half from the time you have to cut it to the time that you are finished. If you can, if you sit there and you just do it, you could probably get this dress done in an hour and a half. These patterns that I'm gonna be showing you are things that you could wake up. If you had a dinner to go to on a Saturday night, you could wake up on Saturday morning, start your sewing, be ready and done with your projects so that you can go out in that evening and wear, wear an outfit. Instead of going to the store, or ordering something online, you last minute, you, you need something to go out to do something. You, Friday night, you just sit there, sew it. Saturday, you can you can put it on, throw it on. The next day for work, you can just throw it on. So I love this dress a lot because I just feel like it's so versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I felt like I did kind of right in the middle. It was, I was, like I was saying before, I was giving little brunch vibes, a little date night vibes. Um, I like the fabric because it's stretchy. Um, I like the drop hem on there that you see. Um, that drop hem just gives a little bit of flair, a little bit of sass to it. So I'm loving that part of it. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it uh, at all, at all. It was the, the simplest thing to make. And I just feel like simple doesn't mean no good. Simple doesn't mean ugly. Simple doesn't mean that you can't be fashionable and stylish and still sexy and still give off, um, you, you know, the, the hot girl summer. You, you can still give off that classiness, that sass, even by a simple fast um, outfit. You dress it up with some accessories. Like I said, you can throw on a blazer with this to dress it up. You can throw on some tennis shoes with this if you want to dress it down and you're at a crossbody bag and go and do a little bit of shopping, um, some run some errands. Um, the fabric is easy. You can just throw it in the washing machine. With not a lot of notions, it doesn't take a lot of money. I think this dress, I got the, let's see, I got the pattern for $1.99. Um, the fabric that it called for, it only calls for two yards of fabric. Two and one-fourth yards of fabric for my size. So I think if I am not mistaken, I believe I only pay $3 a yard for this. So let's say I pay $7.50 for two and a half yards of fabric and I use two and a quarter. 
Um, yeah, I believe so. It was like three dollars a yard. Um, so we've got seven dollars. Ten under ten dollars is how much it costs to make this dress. I don't even think you can buy a dress. You can't even buy a dress for ten dollars. Um, not even at the Goodwill. You can't even thrift a dress nowadays for under ten dollars. So I just feel like if you want something simple, you want something fast, something that would be good for it, even in, and this is not just a winter or a, a spring dress. I mean, I'm sorry, this is not just a summer or a spring dress. You can actually, like I said, throw on a blazer, put on some um, tights and some boots. You can wear this in, in the fall and winter time as well. Um, just, you know, it's the, a layering piece. But anyhow, I really, really love this. The fabrics that it calls for is moderate stretch, 35 percent cross grain jersey interlock cotton knits rayon knits um so and you only need uh three eighths of a quarter inch elastic that is it so get yourself some inexpensive uh knit fabric that's on a, a good price you can uh, again i always i always encourage going to the remnant area getting a couple of bundles of remnant fabrics if you see if you have some left or flat fabrics or something like that and you need to whip something up really fast this would be the pattern for you so i definitely recommend this so this is the very first one of our series. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys get to make this one. Stay tuned for my other um, uh, next, my part two series. And I look forward to seeing you over there. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day.